The beginning of the Apple computer started in 1976 when Steve Jobs convinced Steve Wozniak to join him in building computers for individuals. To afford their business, Jobs sold his Volkswagen minibus and Wozniak sold his HP calculator. They built the computers in Jobs' family's garage. On March 1st, they finished their first computer, which was named the Apple One. It was composed of a standard keyboard for input and standard television for output. In 1977, the Apple II was introduced for $1,298. The Apple logo was also introduced in this year. The name Apple came about when Jobs looked at the apple he was eating. Wozniak agreed with the name and the two men continued pursuing their careers. In 1980, Apple had 1,000 employees and went public. At this time, Steve Jobs was the largest shareholder in Apple, making $217 million alone. The number of employees increased to 2,500 in 1981. Also during this year, Jobs became the chairman of Apple. In 1983, the Lisa was introduced for $9,998. It had a detached keyboard and mouse. John Scully became the Apple president and CEO. Also during this year, Apple became the fastest growing company in history, selling the one millionth Apple II. The Macintosh computer was introduced in January 1984. In 1986, Apple introduced the Macintosh Plus. It was priced at $2,600. In 1991, an Apple-IBM alliance was formed. A few years later, Apple released the first Power Mac. In May of 1998, Apple announced the iMac. As of this year, 2011, the Apple computers have changed their looks in many ways, and there are still changes to come. Steve Jobs resigned as CEO of Apple on August 24, 2011. He stated, I have always said if there ever came a day when I could no longer meet my duties and expectations as Apple's CEO, I would be the first to let you know. Unfortunately, that day has come.